Camel are an English progressive rock band formed in Guildford, Surrey, in 1971. Led by guitarist Andrew Latimer, they have released 14 studio albums and 14 singles, plus numerous live albums and DVDs. Without achieving mass popularity, the band gained a cult following in the 1970s with albums such as Mirage and The Snow Goose. They moved into a jazzier, more commercial direction in the early 1980s, but then went on an extended hiatus. Since 1991 the band has been independent, releasing albums on their own label. Despite no new studio releases since 2002, the band performed on tour as recently as 2018. Their music has influenced artists including Marillion, Opeth, and Stephen Wilson. Music journalist Mark Blake described Camel as the great unsung heroes of 70s prog rock. Andrew Latimer, 1977 Andrew Latimer, Andy Ward, and Doug Ferguson had been playing as a trio called The Brew around the Guilford, Surrey area of England. In early 1971 they auditioned to be the backup band for singer-slash-songwriter Philip Goodhand Tate and appeared on his album I Think I'll Write a Song on DJM Records. They then recruited keyboardist Peter Bardens and after an initial gig to fulfill a Bardens commitment under the name Peter Bardens on, they changed their name to Camel. Their first gig under that name was at Waltham Forest Technical College, London supporting Wishbone Ash in December 1971. In August 1972 Camel signed with MCA Records and their eponymous debut album Camel was released in early 1973. The record was not a success and the band moved to the Derham Records division of Decca Records. In 1974 they released their second album, the critically acclaimed Mirage, on which Latimer showed he was also adept on flute. Although failing to chart at home, it gained success in the United States, prompting a three-month tour there. Released in 1975, the instrumental concept album The Snow Goose, inspired by the Paul Gallico short story of the same name, was the breakthrough album that brought Camel wider attention and success. However, the album attracted a lawsuit from Gallico. It is often reported that Gallico brought the suit because he loathed smoking and thought the band were related to the cigarette brand. In reality Gallico described himself as an addict of the vice in all its blackest forms and his objection was simply on the grounds of copyright infringement. Camel accordingly added the prefix music inspired by to the album's front cover and removed the story notes from the back cover. The album's success led to a prestigious appearance at Royal Albert Hall with the London Symphony Orchestra in October 1975. The band's fourth album, Moon Madness, was the last to feature the original lineup. Mel Collins was added to the band on saxophone and flute for the subsequent tour. Drummer Ward was pushing for a move into jazz, which caused bassist Ferguson to quit the band in early 1977. Ferguson formed the band Headwaiter and later became a property developer. Richard Sinclair replaced Ferguson, and Mel Collins joined the band in an official capacity. This lineup released Rain Dances and Breathless. The latter was the last album to feature Bardens, who announced his departure before the supporting tour. He was replaced by two keyboard players both recruited from Caravan, Dave Sinclair and Jan Shellhaus. The Sinclair cousins both left the band after the tour, replaced by keyboardist Kit Watkins and bassist Colin Bass. This lineup recorded the more commercial I Can See Your House From Here. The album's cover caused controversy with its image of a crucified astronaut looking at Earth. The 1981 release Nude was a concept album based on a true story of Japanese soldier hero Inoda. Duncan Mackay provided most of the keyboards in lieu of Watkins and Shellhaus, who were involved in other projects but returned for the tour. This was the first album to feature lyrics by Latimer's future wife Susan Hoover. In mid-1981, Ward stopped playing drums due to alcohol and drug abuse and Camel quietly disbanded. Without a band, but with a contract to fulfill and pressure from Decca for a hit song, Latimer was joined by an array of guest and session musicians at Abbey Road Studios in early 1982. The album The Single Factor was released later that year, reaching no. 57 in the UK. Another lineup featuring keyboardist Tun Skirpenzeel and drummer Paul Burgess released the album Stationary Traveler in 1984. Camel's contract with Decca expired in late 1984, while Latimer prevailed in a legal dispute with a former manager. Latimer moved to the United States and disbanded the group again. After a seven-year hiatus, Latimer revived the Camel name in 1991 and released the album, Dust and Dreams under his own independent label Camel Productions. The album featured several players who had appeared on the group's two previous albums in the early 1980s. Keyboardist Mickey Simmons, who had previously backed Mike Oldfield and Fish, joined in 1992. 
In 1992, a man named Roy Clay approached former Camel drummer Andy Ward and claimed to be a fan of the band as well as an experienced music manager. Clay proposed a Camel reunion tour, Ward supported the scheme but Peter Bardens was the only other former member to show interest. Clay then enlisted some former members of Caravan and attempted to promote the band as a legitimate new lineup of Camel, but a copyright challenge from Latimer forced a name change. Under the name Mirage, this group conducted a short tour in late 1994 and released a live album. The members of Mirage were never compensated, and Clay's fraudulent practices were addressed in a 1995 song by Caravan. Also under Clay's management, Bardens led another band under the name Mirage that released a live album in 1996. Clay also sold counterfeit camel merchandise, and several years later was convicted of fraud and forgery. In the meantime, Latimer and Hoover wrote Harbor of Tears under the camel name, which was released in 1996. In 1999 Latimer, drummer Dave Stewart, bassist Colin Bass, and keyboardist Tun Skirpin Zeal recorded Rajas, a record inspired by an ancient Arabic poetic meter of the same name that reflects the rhythm of camel footsteps in the desert. Camel performing in 2003 and 2001, Latimer assembled another new lineup with bass, drummer Dennis Clement, and keyboardist Guy LeBlanc. The band released the album A Nod and a Wink in 2002. The album was dedicated to former member Peter Bardens, who had died early that year. The group was inactive for much of the following decade as Latimer received treatment for myelofibrosis. After Latimer's recovery, Camel returned to touring in 2013, including full performances of The Snow Goose. A new and extended version of that album was released in November 2013. LeBlanc withdrew from touring in 2014 due to illness and died in 2015. He was replaced by a returning Tunskerpenzeel. Latimer was presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award at Orange Amplification's 2014 Progressive Music Awards, and the 2013-14 Snow Goose Tour was nominated in the category of Live Event. The band continued to tour throughout the decade, and a live DVD recorded at Royal Albert Hall was released in early 2020. Latimer continues to write new music, though the band has not released a studio album since 2002. Camel have been described as a symphonic prog rock band. Predominantly instrumental, Camel's music combines elements from rock, pop, jazz, blues, folk, classical and electronica. Though they are not from Canterbury, they have long been associated with the Canterbury scene due to their many historical connections with Caravan and other Canterbury progressive rock musicians. Camel have been acknowledged as one of the principal influences on the neo-progressive rock subgenre which emerged in the 1980s and produced Marillion as its most successful band. Former Marillion lead singer Fish said of his first impression of the band, I thought they were a lot like Camel. Current members UK releases except where noted. Notes. Thanks for watching.